So good afternoon you guys, hopefully the lighting isn't too bad because it's currently 4.30 and I'm just getting ready to go out because I'm meeting someone for coffee in about an hour <laughs> so I'm just trying to get ready and hopefully I actually get there on time because I always seem to leave things to the last minute. I was hoping to be able to talk to you guys um, casually while I, did, while I did my makeup but um, seeing as it's like 4.30 I don't really have much time. So if you guys haven't seen my last video you should probably watch that one first and then watch this one or else I feel like this video might not make any sense to you if you're like a regular viewer. So yeah on Friday I made a tinder account um, and then I started talking to this really nice guy on there and then the next day we exchanged numbers um, so we speak on WhatsApp now and um, on the Saturday we was on the phone for like six hours and I didn't go to bed until like 2am um, so we've been talking every day since and um, a couple of days ago he asked if I wanted to um, meet for a coffee and I was like sure. But yeah he seems like a really nice guy, um, if I had more time I'll tell you a bit more about him but I'm kind of in a bit of a rush um, to get myself ready. But I can give you some details, so he's 27, um, he doesn't actually live that far away from me. He drives so he's like 20 minutes away. He loves animals um, and music, he plays the guitar and he's in a band. I've listened to some of the music that he plays. He's actually really really good at the guitar um, and the band he's in is quite nice, I quite like the music. I don't know how to describe what kind of music it is. Um, but it's really really nice and you can play the acoustic and the electric guitar which is pretty cool. He likes coffee just like I do um, hence why he chose to meet in a coffee shop which is amazing because I love coffee. You guys know how much I love coffee. And he's just a really lovely chilled guy. Um, everything that I know about him so far I really like. On paper he seems amazing so we'll just have to see what he's like in person um, and yeah when we talk our conversation is just flow. Um, I've only been talking to him for a couple of days, but he feels like a friend that I've known for a very, very, very long time. And I still have so, so, so much to know about him. I have a million and one questions to ask him, but from what I know so far, he just seems really, really nice. Um, I saw my sister yesterday. I vlogged yesterday, so the vlog that you would have seen before this is literally yesterday um, and I was with my sister and I was telling her about him and I showed her like pictures of him and stuff and yeah she was quite happy for me she was saying like life is too short you know life is too short to not be happy I'm wearing this really nice Chanel it's not a lipstick it's more of like um a lip butter 487 ambrosia I think it's called um, the packaging is so nice and um, this is what the colour looks like. I have these lashes as well. I'm just trying to decide on which one to wear. Hmm. I think I might go for these ones because they're quite nice and wispy. Hopefully they look good. So far these lashes look really really nice i'm really really happy with these lashes so the guy's on his way now oh and i finished with my makeup as well i'm quite happy with it i love these lashes i mentioned in my last vlog we had some people um brown decorating we're getting a living room dining room kitchen hallway and bathroom and um, painted and we're also getting wooden flooring in all of the rooms apart from the bathroom so the guy that was doing the painting he's just He's just left. I'm quite happy with my outfit. I'm just, I'm not sure what shoes I'm gonna wear. I have these thigh high boots, which I got from um, H&M, which look lovely. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna wear them because they're pretty new and I haven't worn them yet. And I don't know if I'll feel comfortable in them. Like the shoes itself, like they seem quite comfortable, but I don't know if I'm gonna feel comfortable in them. This is what the boots look like. My sister saw them, she was like, oh, they're really nice. Um, when she came around the other day and I sent her the link to them. Um, they're like 34 pounds off h and I know the lighting's probably not the best. I'm just wearing this really lovely jumper by a company called 
um, pull and bear comfiest jumper I've ever owned um, and I just love the way it fits. a little bit fluffy though which is the annoying thing about it so I couldn't ever wear it with black jeans but blue jeans is fine I'm wearing my favorite pair of um, ASOS blue jeans these are so comfortable um, I got an ASOS parcel today and I ordered this um, same style of jeans but in the lighter pair because um, I just love how these fit um, and then I've just got my um, fire high boots on and then I just have my brown Louis Vuitton bag and I'm gonna be wearing a jacket so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on now so even though it's June the weather is honestly <laughs> not summer weather it feels more like it seems more like that sort of autumn weather where it's kind of dull cloudy it's not cold but it's like a bit rainy someday that's pretty much what the weather has been like which isn't which isn't the best i was hoping for for a nice summer so i'm just gonna throw these into my bag so i've got tic tacs um i've got these really nice lemon and mint sweets um <laughs> hand sanitizer uh, hand cream, this is just the body shop, um, and almond milk and honey, uh, my purse with my card and an umbrella. So here's a quick overview of my entire outfit. Okay, he's just messaged me and said he's 10 minutes away so I really need to leave. And oh my god, for some reason I just found some socks in my bag. So I've just got my face mask on um, and yeah, fingers crossed it actually goes alright. I'll update you guys as soon as I can. So I've just come back home really quickly to change my shoes. I decided to change into my trainers because there's quite a bit of traffic outside. And I said to him, I'm just going to walk it instead because he's pretty much almost there. got changed into my trainers. Maybe I should wear my boots instead. I don't know, but if I want to walk there quick, I need my trainers on. So I'll speak to you guys in a bit. Thank you very much. No, I don't think so. So I just got home, I think it's like, I think it's after nine o'clock. I'm so happy I finally found where the Starbucks is in my area. And it's really nice and peaceful there. Honestly, I had no idea it was there. I'm in my living room slash um, dining room and you can see the kitchen at the back. Um, and like I said, we're getting it redecorated. So it's like a bit of a mess. My battery's about to die. Um, but yeah, he's a really, really, really nice guy. And um, we're gonna meet up on Saturday. So today's Wednesday. We're gonna meet up on Saturday for dinner. And yeah, I will definitely be seeing more of him. Um, I've got to take some of the carpet out to the bins because um, we've got some of the carpet off the floor here. And um, I wanna take off my makeup and get food because I'm starving. I'll see you guys either tomorrow or later on this week. I still have to put my stuff from yesterday away. So my bag and my clothes. and through some other stuff as well and I've got some boringy um businessy bits that I received a couple of days ago and I just haven't had the chance to put things away um and I also ordered some more sharpies as well because I use these to write on my parcels here I just got some more of these little hot pink bubble mailers because I completely run out and then I just got some more rolls of this I just buy them in bulk so there's like six rolls here and I also got this bag too so you know the um so you know the corduroy bag the black one I've been using quite a lot recently I decided to get the pink one because it looks really nice I thought this would look really nice with a pair of blue jeans and a white top and if you're wondering what it looks like on the inside um it's literally just white on the inside with two pockets so this is my ASOS parcel and here's the bits that I need to put away um so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up so i didn't get loads and loads of things um i mostly wanted some jumpers but i didn't really have too many nice jumpers so i think this is a jumper this is a jumper this is like a long sleeve stripy top this really nice pink cardigan um what is this oh i think this is a bodysuit i think i ordered three bodysuits um i think this might be Another bodysuit, maybe? I think this is one as well. No, this is another cardigan. It's like a short black cardigan because whenever I'm wearing like my dresses and stuff, I don't have any sort of short little cardigans. They're all kind of chunky knitted ones. I think this might be a bodysuit. And the main thing I also want is this pair of um, light blue 
ASOS jeans because I love my dark blue ASOS jeans. They're my favourite pair of jeans. I've just been living in them and I've been wanting to get this light blue pair for ages but it's like £28 um, and I was just hoping it was going to go on sale um, and it just didn't so yeah <laughs> these are all the things that I got nothing too excessive um, so I'm going to grab some lunch um, and then I'm going to go ahead and try these on. So here's the jeans and the first bodysuit. I won't be keeping this. I just don't really like how, how this one fits. And this one I love, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and try on these two cardigans over this bodysuit. I'm not sure if I was going to like it. Um, it's actually quite alright. It's just a material that I wasn't too too sure about. Um, but yeah, it's got like a little bow and it's a really nice short cardigan. I think it looks a bit silly. The sleeves just ruin it. It looks like a very weird fitting like dressing gown or something i don't know how i feel about this one um i think this is going to go into like this is going to be a maybe so good afternoon you guys it's 12 minutes past five let me just grab my makeup so I'm just about to start doing my makeup. I've already got my outfit on. Well, I've got my dress on. I've got to put on my tights and uh, my boots. So today is Friday the 2nd of July. I'm just getting ready because I'm going out for dinner today uh, with the same guy I went for coffee with um, on Wednesday. It's crazy that it's exactly a week today since I first started talking to him. So he did ask me on Wednesday when we were together if we wanted to meet up for dinner on Saturday. Um, but yesterday he asked if we could move it to today instead and I was like, yeah, sure, that's fine. So I'm just about to start putting my makeup on. I'll just have a little chit chat with you guys while I get ready because he's gonna be picking me up. I don't need to like rush to get to the restaurant because he's gonna pick me up anyway. And if you're wondering where we're going, we're going to Nando's. And I know what you guys are gonna say, oh my God, you always go to Nando's. Yes, I do. And he actually chose the place. It wasn't me. I don't think I've actually told you this guy's name, um, but his name is James. And before you go ahead and go onto like my Instagram and try searching him up, I don't actually have him on Instagram. So you're not gonna find him on there. And I just wanna say he's actually okay with me like putting clips of him, like the ones I did on Wednesday when we were together. He's absolutely fine with it. And he's seen the clips as well. I sent them to him and he was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. I'm okay with it. So I'll try and get a few more clips today. Um, I don't really know how much I'm gonna film or how much I'm gonna show sort of thing, if that makes sense. Um, but I'll try and get some clips when I'm out anyway. And like I said, he's perfectly fine with me vlogging like some clips and that. And um, yeah, so because you don't actually know what he looks like, it's what I would like describe how he looks. Um, so he's quite a slim build. He's a little bit taller than I am. Um, he's got strawberry blonde hair. He does have a beard. It does look quite nice. So he has blue eyes and he does have quite a nice face. I have to say that. Um, what else can I tell you about him? Um, he has an eyebrow piercing and he has one of his ears pierced. He likes tattoos. I do actually really like tattoos and piercings. I wouldn't get a lot myself because um, I wouldn't really want a lot on myself, but I do like them on other people. I don't think I would get any more piercings. I have my ears pierced and I have my nose pierced. I think I got that done when I was like 16. It's like a bit of a tradition in my family for the females to get their nose pierced. My mum has her nose pierced, but she never really wears like a stud or a hoop in hers. Uh, my sister, she got her nose pierced when she was younger. My sister wears a, um, my sister has a stud, a gold stud. Um, and then I got my nose pierced when I was like 16. Um, I had a stud, um, but I personally prefer the look of hoops on me. I don't feel like I suit suit stuff so yeah i i just prefer the look of hoops um and i prefer like a gold hoop and my niece i think she got hers done either last no i don't think it was last year i think it was in 2019 i think my niece is going to be 19 this year i think um and yeah she got her nose done in i think for her birthday in 2019 i think she wears a stud as well she has a silver one though 
um and yeah so it's just a it's just a thing <laughs> that's in my family and as for tattoos you guys know i have my little heart tattoo here which is super cute and dinky i really love it i i prefer minimal tattoos on myself um so that heart tattoo was my first tattoo i got that done on friday the 13th um i think i got it done three days after my birthday um in july 2018 i actually have a vlog when i got it done i'll have it linked in the description that video actually has quite a lot of views that's the annoying thing about youtube like i i don't have a large like um i don't have a large amount of subscribers um so when i post videos it's for like my usual subscribers if that makes sense but sometimes videos that you post you don't expect them to blow up sort of thing so i think that video has like over a hundred thousand views or something which is crazy that was my first tattoo and then a few weeks later i got two more tattoos so i've got a heart here which i don't really like so i'll probably get that covered up in the future and i have one of my ribs about here that just says beautiful and i really love that one um but i never see this one or that one um but i would love to get more tattoos in the future i really want like a nice floral tattoo maybe here just something delicate and dainty i think that would look super 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 cute but yeah he says he wants to get some more um but he wouldn't go above the neck and below the wrist because then you can't really cover it if that makes sense um and yeah and as for piercings he said he would like to get his tongue pierced um i'm probably not gonna get any more piercings my nose piercing hurt so bad if my nose piercing ever closes up i'm never getting it redone Honestly, it was so painful. Um, it was not fun at all. Um, but getting my tattoo done, well, my tattoos done, was a lot, for me, a lot less painful than getting my nose pierced. Even though, even though getting my nose pierced was, it was actually quite quick, you know, they just push a needle through your nose. But the pain, it was, it was not fun at all. And I made my, um, previous video in public, I think it was yesterday. I was feeling a bit nervous about posting that one. I don't know why, I feel like it's because it would have like, it would have been a bit of a shock for you guys, which a lot of you were quite shocked um, that I had broken up with my boyfriend I was with for four years. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get such like a good response from that video. You guys have been so nice in the comments, but I feel like I'm even more nervous to post this video than I was to post like than I was posting that video I think it's because it might seem like I've just come out of a relationship and then I've been going on dates with someone else but even though I was in a relationship for four years and I've very quickly found someone else I'm interested in I actually wasn't happy in that relationship for a long time so it wasn't like it just ended last week and all of a sudden i like someone else i actually didn't feel happy in that relationship for a very very long time and every day since i've just felt so 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 much happier it's such a nice feeling so when you guys were asking in the comments if i'm doing okay i'm doing amazing i feel so 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 much happier i just feel so much more free like i can do what i want when I want sort of thing. At the end of the day, you're not gonna stay young forever. If there's things that you really want to do in life, like just don't let people hold you back and just don't sit around waiting for them to do the things they say they're gonna do. Don't stick around and wait for them because you're probably gonna be wasting your time. Um, spending time with James on Wednesday was so, so, so nice. And um, we had such a great time. Um, I was only expecting to spend like a like an hour with him, but I think we were together for like over three hours and it just went so, so, so quick. I think I might have said this before earlier on um, in this vlog. We just get along so well. And with him, it just feels like I've known him for a long time. And it's nice that we can just have general, like casual conversations. Like we both did food shopping today. So we were sharing with each other, like the things um, that we got, all of that kind of stuff, just day to day general things. And it's quite nice that he actually listens to what I'm saying and he will bring like, he will ask about something again. Well, when we're in person, he actually, I can actually tell he's listening to what I'm saying and all of that kind of stuff. Like he generally seems quite interested and I'm quite good at picking up on people's 
woody language. So the perfume I'm wearing today is Coco Mademoiselle. Um, it's a Chanel perfume. It's so beautiful. I used to work at Chanel um, and this was my favourite perfume. It smells so 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 good. Now I don't normally wear perfume. I usually just wear like body sprays um, if I fancy wearing something that smells nice. I wore this on Wednesday and James said it smelled really really good and the smell is really long lasting. Um, even my jumper that I wore, I sprayed a bit on there. You can still smell the perfume on there. So I just sprayed a little bit on my skin before I put my dress on and I sprayed a bit on my dress as well um but i'm just about to do my lips so i'm going to be using this chanel lipstick this is in the shade velvet uh number 15 i love the packaging for this because it just pops open like that it's so cool and it's just really beautiful i don't know how to describe that color it's kind of like a pinky purpley color it's really really nice and it says chanel on it feels kind of strange getting ready to go out at, at this time. I don't really have any like friends to meet because a lot of my friends are actually online. I've got some really good friends online um, and friends that I have known for years online that we just haven't met in person. And you guys know Lily from Lily's Beauty World. Her channel name is now Simply Lily, she changed it. Um, but we met through YouTube and we've met in person quite a few times over the years. And because we live quite far from each other, um, our meeting place is central London. So we only really do that like once or twice a year. And we didn't meet at all last year because of everything that was going on. So it would be really lovely to see her at some point this year, probably a little bit later on in the year. Um, it'll be so nice to see her again. And yeah, so I'm never really getting ready to go out at this time because I have no one to see. It feels very strange. Um, and the annoying thing is, I start work on Sunday and James works as well. So my days off will be Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday. Um, and James only has um, a Saturday off. So the only day we're gonna be able to really see each other if he still wants to see me after today. It would have to be like on a Saturday or once he's finished work on like a Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. I don't really know. Um, but if we do see more of each other, we're gonna have to like plan it around my work and his work. So it's coming up to um, six o'clock and I didn't finish my coffee. So now that I've done my makeup and I've done my hair as well, um, I'm gonna pop my tights on and get my shoes on. Um, and I'm also gonna pack my bag as well. Thinking of bringing this gorgeous head baker bag with me. I got this bag back in, I think it was, April. Um, I got it when I went to Central London. Absolutely loved her baker. It's one of my favourite brands. Um, and this is one of my favourite bags. And I really like this bag because it's quite nice and um, spacious. It's got three compartments. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. This is just the um, dust bag. And there's two dust bags in there. I think one's from another Ted Baker bag because I have three Ted Baker handbags. Um, but yeah, it's really spacious. Um, and this is perfect for fitting my um, camera in as well because I'm going to be bringing you guys with me. And I like that it's got this long strap so you can wear it crossbody. I always just wear it on my shoulder like this anyway. And I like that it's got uh, a handle as well. The only thing I don't like is you can't you can't adjust my um you can't adjust the handles um but i really love my michael kors crossbody but unfortunately the bag is just too small when i want to like bring my camera so i thought i would show you guys a quick overview of my outfit so my jewelry is from anna luisa you guys know i love this necklace and my other necklace this is the one that is actually double sided. My usual beaded bracelet. This dress is from H&M. The lighting's not that good, it's getting quite dark. Just got some ASOS black tights on and then the boots that I already showed you guys and then my bag. So I'm really happy with this outfit. I always like to pick things that I actually feel, you know, comfortable wearing if that makes sense. And for my jacket, I think I'm gonna wear this Primark suede jacket. I probably don't need a jacket but I'm gonna bring it just in case. While I'm waiting for Jen. I thought I'll quickly show you the stuff that I'm gonna be returning back to ASOS. So yesterday I didn't get a chance to show you guys the two jumpers that I tried on. Um, I've decided to keep one of them, the other one I'm returning. So I'm returning two of the bodysuits apart from the one I really liked. This jumper, this cardigan, and then I'm gonna return these shoes which is from another, like a previous order. So these are heeled sandals. Um, I don't know what it is about them. They're nice shoes, but I just, Feel like they don't look that good on me if that makes sense um so i'm gonna go ahead and return these so james has just sent me a text to say he's downstairs so i'm gonna quickly um head out i don't know how much footage i'm gonna get um but i'll try and film what i can anyway 
it probably was an eyelash that was in my eye. You managed to get it out. No, I think <laughs> it's still attached. <laughs> We've decided not to get Nando's because it just wouldn't let us in on the queue and the wait was too long. So we're going to go back to his and get takeaway instead. I don't know what we're going to get. No idea. <laughs> so we just decided to get Chinese. I got a chicken chow mein. And what did you get again? Garlic chicken. Garlic chicken, ginger and chicken. ginger chicken and rice. This looks really nice. You're hungry later. And what would I bring it home in? I've got Tupperwares. Um, I've got some shopping coming between 10 and 12 so I'm gonna quickly um, have a shower and brush my teeth because I haven't brushed my teeth yet um, I managed to wash my face but um, obviously James didn't have a spare toothbrush the workmen might be coming today as well so it's gonna be <laughs> quite a busy day and tomorrow I have work so I think for the rest of today I'm just gonna pretty much do some editing. I've got the clips from yesterday and today to edit. I think the next time I'm gonna be seeing James will be on my birthday, which is next Saturday. I don't know what we're gonna be doing yet. <laughs> we're gonna to have to plan something. But yeah, I'm probably gonna be seeing him again on Saturday. Um, but yeah, I've had such a great time with him. He's a really, really, really nice guy. Um, and we just get along so well. So I'll definitely be seeing more of him. If he wants to see more of me, that is. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here so I can go and brush my teeth and have a quick shower before my food delivery could possibly turn up. And I will see you guys in my next vlog, which will be a weekly vlog, um, starting from tomorrow. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.